Hi there, how are you doing? Welcome back to the VMO YouTube channel. This is Jansen. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the all new Shimano Altegra XR 14000 XSD. I haven't even taken this out of the box yet. I'm really looking forward to getting into it and seeing what it's all about. Sadly, I won't be able to take it fishing because it's got to go back into stock. I'd much sooner it found its way into my seat box, but you can't have it all. Let's get into this box and see what this brand new reel is all about. So here we go, this brand new offering from Shimano. The Altegra series has been incredibly popular over the last few years. It's been everyone's kind of go-to mid-budget fixed spool reel for surf casting. Fantastic reels, obviously Shimano do make very good reels. High quality for, you know, in this case, not too much money. Okay, it's, you know, it's not super cheap. It's not super expensive. Kind of falls somewhere in the middle. But all the same, lovely bit of kit. Seen pictures of it so far, haven't actually seen one in the flesh. This is the first time. So let's take a quick look at the specs as stated on the box. 4.3 to one retrieve. So that's a nice steady retrieve, plenty of torque. So what else have we got here? We've got 20 kilos of drag pressure. That's pretty impressive. The reel weighs 535 grams. And we've got five plus one on the bearing. So that's five main bearings plus a bearing in the roller, I would imagine. The rate of retrieve, 103 centimetres per handle turn. And that is pretty decent as well. So, you know, if you're fishing over rougher ground and you want to get your gear back quicker, that is a nice speed of retrieve. Capacities of the spools, what have we got here? So 550 meters of 0.35 millimeter line. So probably anywhere between 15 and 18 pound breaking strain, 550 meters. That is a lot of line on your reel. So enough waffle about the outside of the box. Let's get into this brand new Altegra and see what we've got. So straight away, we've got these spacers. These are used for chocking out the spool. So rather than putting backing line on there, you can put one of these on. It literally clips around the spool. There's different sizes in there. So what these do in effect is reduce the capacity of the spool. So obviously if you were to use a really light line on this, say something about 0.28 or 0.3 millimeter, well, you can put these on there and you're not having to load up a silly amount of line onto the spool to use it. So there's the spacers. Here's the exploded parts diagram. And you don't really want to be taking a fixed spool reel apart like this. Uh, there's lots and lots and lots of little bits and pieces. And one of the few downsides to a fixed spool reel compared to a multiplier, they're a lot more complex inside. But like I say, you don't really need to take one apart. So what else have we got here? There we go, spinning reel manual. Well, it's a little bit bigger than a spinning reel. It's obviously an, an American thing to refer to a fixed spool reel as a spinning reel, but there we go. So that's the manual and the exploded parts diagram. And here we go, drum roll. So what else have we got in the box? Well, yes, this reel does come with a spare spool. And increasingly nowadays, we're seeing a lot of these surf casting fixed spool reels. They don't actually come with a spare spool. And my only guess as to why that is, is because the manufacturers of that reel, they're putting everything into the reel itself, which is fair comment. But all the same, a spare spool is a very useful thing to have and certainly more than one so you can load them up with different braking strain lines. If you're fishing over rough grounds, you lose a set of gear, you can simply take the spool off, pop the next one back on, complete with shock cleaner, and you're good to go again. Something else that comes with this new Shimano reel is these adjustment washers. So basically with these, they're small shims that you place on the spindle beneath the spool and it will adjust the height of the spool. So what this can do, if you're reeling your line onto your reel and say, for example, it's bunched at the bottom of the reel, you can take a shim out. If it's bunching the line towards the top of the spool, by adding a shim, you will bring the spool up slightly 
and the line will wind onto the spool in a more even fashion. So it's nice to have something like that just to make that fine tuning. I'm pretty sure that straight out of the box this reel is going to wind the line on pretty accurately but all the same like I say good to have that little bit of fine tuning there as an option. Look at that. That is a cracking looking reel. So as per a lot of these reels nowadays the handle screws in to the body let's just get this box out of the way a second so we can get a better look at things and there we go so that tightens in like that and wow what a lovely smooth reel that is as well and these modern Shimano fixed spool reels are made with very fine tolerances so there's very little play in anything okay everything is tight everything's machined extremely accurately and that is what gives these reels that nice tight solid smooth feel and you can certainly feel those bearings going to work there and the other thing that's noticeable with this reel is the super slow oscillation so when we talk about oscillation, we talk about how long it takes for the spool to rise up and down and how many spins of the rotor that takes. And that is very, very slow. That's lovely. So what that's going to do in effect is lay your line really perfectly on the spool. So that means when you cast, the line will peel off really easily. There'll be very little friction there and line will leave the spool with greater ease which can potentially lead to longer casts so it's a lovely silvery reel and you can see there's almost a bit of a sparkle in the finish here that will look very pretty on a rod indeed so let's just take a closer look at the other features of this brand new Altegra so the clutch. Um, Shimano are very popular for their sort of instant quick drags if you like whereby just one turn of the drag knob and you've fully locked down the spool. So there you go that is unlocked, line is coming out and there you go that's fully locked. So it's not quite a quick drag as you might know on reels such as the Power Aero but on this Altegra model that is still you know not a lot to turn to get the drag working and there we go that's fully locked down so that is very nice I like that now the bail arm so we're going to cast and we want that bail arm to make a really nice click there you go that's fully locked over so we do get from time to time people get in contact with us here at VMO and they say I bought a fixed spool reel from you but the bail arm won't engage when I turn the handle. Well this is how a lot of reels are made nowadays. This Altegra is no different. Back in the old days you'd have quite a flimsy spring on the mechanism for opening the bail arm and this enables you to turn the handle to re-engage. The downside of that was on the cast the inertia of the cast as you come through would snap that bail arm back over. So most manufacturers nowadays have done away with that and you literally have to re-engage the bail arm by hand. But it's no great hardship. Obviously you make your cast, let your gear hit the bottom and just flip that bail arm back over. So that's that. This is the roller and you can see that's got a bearing in there that spins around nicely that's important to alleviate line twist the clutch itself though very smooth very nice makes a nice noise when you're turning that spool now if you're a left-handed angler it's really easy just to unscrew the handle from the left hand side and on the opposite side of the reel we've got this cap that just undoes take the handle out pop it in there pop that cap back on the other side and you're good to go with the handle on the other side of the reel. So let's look at the other features 
of this brand new Altegra. And on the back of the reel, we've got the anti-reverse switch just there. This allows us to turn the handle both ways. It's quite a nice little feature to have, actually. If you want to let some line out in a controlled way, obviously turn the handle backwards and you're going to pay out some line. To lock that back up, flick the switch over and the handle will only turn one way. This is certainly a lovely looking reel and I'd say it's a great improvement on the previous Altegra models. Don't get me wrong, they were very good, they were very popular, that's for sure, but they had a little bit of play to them, just a, a little bit. You could tell the, the quality difference between the older Altegras and some of the more expensive Shimano reels, which is obviously reflected in the price. This slightly more expensive model, however, it does feel very tight, very good quality, and it feels a little bit more rugged, a little bit stronger than those previous models. So there you go, that was a brief tackle talk on the all new Altegra XR14000 XSD. Quite a mouthful actually. But I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it interesting and informative. If you did, please consider subscribing to the VMO channel and I'll catch you on the next one.